Hi everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going a little bit out of my comfort zone. Um, I'm going to do a goth makeup look. I'm nervous. <laughs> um, I already got my brows done. They are super dark and bushy today. Not really sure how I feel about it, but it is what it is. I'm torn between two looks. Uh, I both found both on Pinterest. One, I don't know if you can see that. If not, I will pop it in on the screen when I'm editing. And then this is the other one. I grab a, oh, I'm pretty sure that just like went upside down. Yeah. They're fairly similar. I think we're just gonna go ahead and start and then go from there. So yeah, I'm excited. I, like I said, I already got my brows done. I already primed my lids and let's get right into it. We're gonna go in with my beloved Jaclyn Hill Morphe Volume 1 palette. This is very well loved and my daughter has gotten to it a few times with some of the top shades. I really have not used that much. They are just uh, destroyed by my daughter. We're gonna start with this shade here for the transition. This is probably the oldest palette that I have. It was my first like big, better quality palette. My boyfriend got it me for Christmas a couple years ago and I am still in love with it. I don't use it as much as I used to, but my palette collection has grown quite a bit in the last couple of years also. So we've got that down. Looking at this, they're both very, very similar. Just one is a little bit darker brown with a wing. And then this one's got a little bit of an orangey color in the crease. So I think we're just gonna keep going with what we have. Actually, no, we're just gonna go a little bit deeper with um, butter right here. And we're just gonna Put that down. I do like smoky eyes and dark looks every once in a while. I think the thing I'm most nervous about is the lip. I'm very, very nervous about the lip. I'm just gonna keep going down the line. So I'm gonna use a, um, this one. And I'm still going in with my fluffy brush. Just stepping back in. Thought I got some of that in my eyeball. So far, I am liking the direction this is going. I mean, I know we haven't done too much yet, but I think it looks really good. I was going to do all black, but I think that the browns really complement my hair and my skin tone better. So I like that. Alrighty, I'm going to just move on down the line, like I said. Take this brown and put that all over the lid. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye. Just pack on all that brown shadow. Okay. I'm going to take a different blending brush, a fluffy brush, with no additional product on it. And just buff out those edges and make sure everything is blended nice and seamlessly. I think I'm going to take a little bit more of that same brown shade on the fluffy brush that we just used. And just bring it up just a little bit higher. Alright, we're going to go in with that kind of like rusty shade again. Oh! That just fell and hit me on my lap. And I'm just going to put that right... Oops. Apparently, like, all the way up to my brow bone. The shade keeps falling out. I'm tempted to just put it in one of my Z palettes. All right, I'm actually really liking how this is turning out. It's 
just a lot of blending and going back and forth. I'm going to take just a touch of concealer. The one I have out is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. And I'm just going to clean up my brow bone again. Since I got a little bit of shadow where I didn't exactly want it. And then I'm going to clean up this outer corner as well. Before we do a wing. I'm gonna take this cream colored shade. I think it's so pale. It's from my um, Makeup Geek quad that I made. And I'm just going to put that on the brow bone. Just to kind of blend everything back together and set that concealer down. Now I'm gonna go in with my Physicians Formula Eye Booster and do a wing. A little uneven, but we're gonna leave it for now. We're gonna move on to the base, and then we'll come back and finish up the bottom lash line later. I need some water. All right, I'm gonna use only my Tatcha Silk Canvas today. I want a little bit more of a matte look today, so I'm not gonna go with the glowy primer. I'm gonna go ahead and take my CYO foundation, take that on the back of my hand, and I'm gonna use a, just a tiny little drop of this white NYX foundation mixer, just to make it a tiny bit more lighter go ahead and mix that up on the back of my hand and take my foundation brush I feel like this tutorial is super super boring I'm going to take whatever's left over on the back of my hand and press it in with a sponge. I'm going to take my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. Put that on under my eyes. I'm going to let that set for about 30 seconds. Alright, blend my concealer out. Before I set my concealer, I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in Amber. And just do a little contouring. I take my little elf contour brush and just Blend that contour into my nose. It's been a long time since I contoured my nose, man. Now we're gonna set my foundation and concealer. I'm gonna set my under eyes using the number seven Lift and Luminate. And I'm gonna set the rest of my face with the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Finishing Veil. All right, I'm gonna take the Kevin Aquan Celestial Bronzing Veil in Tropical Bronze, Tropical Nights, yeah. It's a cool bronze and just contour a little bit more on my cheeks. All right, I'm gonna take this little pencil brush. It's from Lavish. And I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the shade again. And just put that on 
really close to my lower lash line. Kind of start that as the base, and then I'm gonna go in with that other brown we used all over the lid. All right, I wanna bring a little bit more of that brown in, like connect it together. So I'm gonna take my e.l.f. tapered blending brush and just kind of bring that all together. I'm gonna take my Wet Mild Break It Proof Eyeliner and pop that onto the waterline. I'm gonna take, just on this little angled brush that I used to clean up my concealer, I'm gonna take a little bit of this black from the Morphe palette. I'm just gonna make that a little bit more smoky, the, the wing. Kind of blend that all in together a little bit better. I take that, um, I'm just gonna take like an espresso brown that's in that Jack on Elm palette also. And just put that right over the top of the liner. And right on the bottom, apparently we're just getting super, super extreme with these, this liner today. I'm gonna take um, my pencil brush again and just kind of blend that together. We're gonna put on this highlighter. This is the uh, Glazed Donut by Ofra. All right, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay All Nighter. Set my face. All right, I'm gonna put on some mascara. We're gonna go in with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. All right, um, before I do lashes, I'm gonna put on my inner corner highlight. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Glazed Donut. and I'll be right back. 500 years later, lashes are on. These are gorgeous. I got these out of BoxyCharm. These are um, Baddington lashes and it is the Harlow 3D Silk lashes. I had to trim them just a tiny little bit because they're a little long, but I think they're fantastic. Now for lips. I've got two. These are both from Went Wild. This is the So Noir Cool and Video Vixen. We're going to start with the black one. I'm nervous as heck. Oh my gosh. I legitimately don't think I've ever worn black lipstick. I don't think so. Not ever. I'm not sure what I think. I'm gonna go wear this off real quick and then put on the other one and then I'll decide which one I'm wearing. <laughs> Actually, I liked that more than I thought I was going to. I'm very surprised. Next, we're gonna go in with Video Vixen. And then this one is Video Vixen. I'm not really sure which one I like. I think I'm gonna go with the black one, to be honest. I think I'm gonna go with the black one. It's really weird for me to say. Alright everybody, so that is it. This is the final look. Um, It is so out of my comfort zone. So different, so out of my comfort zone. I 
like it though. Like I'm very, very pleased with it. Um, I really, really actually like the black lipstick and I like how it turned out and I think it looks really cool. <laughs> I'm shocked. I'm very shocked. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, hit that like button if you would. It helps me out a lot. And make sure that you are subscribed if you haven't already. And hit the notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload. Thanks guys. Have a great day.